Ivy Newsday was in Calipatria for the Energy Source Site commissioning of their new 49.9 megawatt geothermal facility. Over 300 people were in attendance, with some traveling as far away as New Zealand. One to two miles beneath where we sit today is the hottest and greatest geothermal uh, power source in North America and perhaps the world. This resource is an obvious solution to meet the strong demand from regional utilities for clean, baseload renewable energy for decades to come. Well, we had 200 people building this project. That was a, a nearly two-year construction process. And then uh, today we have 55 people. We have uh, 35 plant, uh, strong plant operations team and uh, uh, another 20 of us developing new projects. So we'll, we'll be generating new energy projects out here in the future. I think we need to do everything we can to continue to build out renewable energy opportunities throughout Imperial County, which I think brings a direct benefit to this region specifically, but also to the state of California and the nation as a whole. And we have to do this in a way, though, in my opinion, that needs to be balanced, meaning that uh, we also have to respect our ancestry here of Imperial County, which is based on agriculture. So let's diversify our economy to create more jobs, bring more revenues, but let's do that in a way in which we also uh, don't impact in a negative way the agricultural economy, which is very critical to Imperial County in the state of California. Let's build out renewable energy. Let's balance that with agriculture. There are a lot of myths about uh, renewable energy. One is that it's too expensive or that it can't scale up to uh, utility scale. We can point to this plant and say, hey, almost 50 megawatts of power that is base load, that, that keeps the lights on and the air conditioning going uh, all, you know, 24-7. It's real, it's here, it's affordable, it's built, it's producing electricity, and the good news is it's going to keep producing electricity without any bad toxic emissions for the next 50 years. I mean, what's not to like about that? And we can do so much more of it here in the Imperial Valley and so many other areas around the country. It's a challenge because a lot of the consumers of electricity live far away from where the actual activities take place, so it's a little invisible for them. They just turn the light switch on. So I think it's important to really talk to them about the importance of developing resources in state of California, about replacing our aging electrical infrastructure, old plants, old technologies, with new technologies that are born here in California that we can control and where the fuel is free so that we get buffered against inflation and volatility in these global commodity markets. In 1982, I took some leases out here and we wanted, I drilled three wells and was hoping to get a, a, a geothermal plant. That did not happen. So here it is now, 30 years later from the time I took the first leases to the actual construction and, and dedication of a power plant. So it's only been 30 years in the making and as they say, as well and overnight success. And we're very, very pleased to see this plant come online. Uh, they passed their grid synchronization earlier in the spring flawlessly, and now they are on their way to producing 50 megawatts of clean base load renewable energy, 724, 365, power enough for 50,000 homes and with a very, very gentle environmental footprint. It's a great day for California. It's a great day for the United States.